Hello, I'm Jerry Kirkpatrick, and I'm teaching the fundamentals of metal shaping. Okay, here's my take on a TIG torch uh, cooling system. Obviously, I used an old shop vac, five gallon, a 10 gallon tank, and inside it I put a stainless steel uh, tank to keep the rust down. There you can see the, si the tank inside. I used an old uh, filler cap from a sprint car that I crashed back in the 90's had that laying around and as you can see I used uh, plexiglass for the lid uh, so I could watch the amount of fluid coming back into the tank and here's the inlet it just goes down into the fluid, used it a standard uh, fuel filter. Here I used a PCV valve. I took the guts out. It made a nice 90 degree bend. Here's a standard pump. You can get it at any RV store. Uh, this one is a automatic shutoff at 55 pounds. Uh, I wanted at least 50 so I could regulate it down to uh, 35 or 40 pounds. Uh, here's the automatic shutoff right there in the front, that little white thing. Uh, then come over here and I wanted to make a transition from the slip fittings and hose clamps to compression fittings so I made this little adapter here and the way I made uh, the adapter I used just a standard slip fitting and turned the threads off giving me a nice flat surface here and then I just took a 45 uh, eighth pipe at a 45 and silver soldered that right onto the back of that. These have to be very clean and as you know uh, silver solder doesn't like to be uh, more than like four to five thousandths so the two surfaces have to be very clean and flat to get those to mate. And from there, it just goes into uh, an adapter into a four way. Uh, you can call it a T plus one. And the way I did that, I just took a bolt and silver soldered it to the back of the T. That way, I could mount it to a little bracket there. And then in the top is a pressure gauge I keep at right about 40 pounds. Uh, the liquid comes in here and then I have a valve here that dumps it back into the tank and that's how I control the pressure. Comes out of this side 
and follows this line into the torch and then down there it comes out of the torch and follows this plastic line back up and goes into the bottom of the radiator the radiator is nothing more than an automatic transmission fluid radiator one of those accessories you get at the auto parts store comes out of the radiator through this one and goes down into the tank and that's about it uh, there's a switch I have I also use this for my mill and lathe as a coolant pump uh, the fans are two old fans that I got from uh, heaters that blew up in my office and uh, that's about it I made the framework for it it's all out of 3003 aluminum and the radiator is just held on by tie wraps no big deal and uh, that's about it thanks for watching If you have any questions about this video or would like to find out more about the sheet metal shaping classes, feel free to give me a call at 1-707-459-2523 and check out my website at jerrykirkpatrick.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.